I am conflicted. I've, I'm well and truly very much conflicted. I, I do not know what to do. It's come to the point, as I've been speaking about all through the series, through our Brentford to two big time series, it's come to the point where we've now got a decent offer or with a favourite for a job and to, depending on how this video goes and, and you know whether I talk myself into it or out of it, we, we might have another job to go to. It is definitely a step up in terms of the quality and uh, you know chance of getting through to the latter stages of the Champions League, of course. But I need your help. I, I need your help. Should I do it? Should I not? What do you think? Tell me, please. Guide me. I, I need it. Anyway, let's do it. Um, remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Um, let's get into it. So here we are. We are at, I mean, there's about two or three weeks until the start of the Premier League season. It is the 22nd of July. Uh, we have done a few transfers. We've made four signings, um, which is more than we thought we'd make, but we've, we've had to make them. Um, so four signings. Um, I'm very excited to get through to the new season. And then this has come up. Um, a, a decent opportunity at a decent, like very good club, really. Um, let me know what you think. Um, here it is. It is, of course, Napoli or Parthenope. 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 I'm just going to say Napoli. We're going to ignore it. It's just Napoli. This is my conundrum, right? When you look at their squad, which I've done a fair assessment of, um, it very good, obviously, to have someone like uh, uh who is worth a lot of a lot of money, um, and he's very very good. Um, that would be very exciting to have to get to play with him. I haven't on this football manager. Uh, I'd love to. Um, then we still have Osimhen, who's 27 now, very very good, scoring lots of goals. We'd still have, you know, her having lasagna, 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 I nearly said. Uh, Pulisic is here. They've just signed uh, Vito Roque, um, who can play a bit of... He might be an option at the Mazala spot in our um, in our formation. Um, they've still got Kim Min-jae. Alex Merritt is still in goals. Um, the only thing is, like, there is positions definitely lacking. Like, if you look at the, the centre-backs, like, the options for centre-back... Um, it's a bit lacking... Like, I've got Mendragora here, who's not worth much money, so I'm not going to say that he's... I'm, I'm going to guess that he's not that brilliant. Um, we've then got three youth products. Um, two of them uh, are listed for loan. Um, one of them has a bid and is likely to be leaving shortly. This fella seems to be sticking around. Again, I mean, looks very decent. Looks like he will be very good. Is he ready or, uh, like, straight away? Probably not. They do then have Ostergaard, uh, who is... Yeah, pretty good. Be pretty happy to be playing with him. And then Kim Min Jae, of course, worth a lot of money. Very, very good. Just an absolute unit, isn't he? Are they ready for a Champions League tilt? How long will we need to be there? Um, is it worth going there? Are they going to actually have the right amount of money or, um, you know, uh, facilities? I mean, facilities, it's pretty clear they do because of the quality of the youths that they are bringing through. Um, but... I'll take you to another screen, which is a new screen for this channel. It's it's something that I've been, you know, thinking about for a little while. Let's have a look at it. Welcome to ShareMyTactics.com. Of course, you probably see it a lot on TikTok and Twitter and all of the things. If you follow EuroExpert, who's brilliant, um, you probably see a lot of this. Um, I've put together basically how I see the squad as it is, who is going to be useful, all that sort of stuff, and, and where they fit in, basically. So. Goalkeeper sorted. I'm totally fine with Merritt and Bilo. I don't know how to say his name. And Bilo used to be like a, a supermarket in Australia, but and then they got this. so I just want to say Bilo. Um, Centre backs probably short one. Um, we've got of course Ostergaard, Minje, and, and Mendragora. Um, probably short one. Need another one. We'll see. Right backs just Di Lorenzo and then youth <laughs> youth products basically. The um, uh, half back role would be between Lobotka and Flair. Florentino Luiz. I'm not too sure about Lobotka. I think he might be a little bit small for what I want out of the uh, halfback anyway. Like, I mean, if you look at Ben Godfrey playing it and Jan Elton, Ayer has been playing it a lot for um, for Brentford. Um, I'm not quite sure, but obviously he's, he's very good. So uh, left back, there's just a Yilmaz. There's nothing else. It's him and then Youths. Um, don't really know how that's going to work out. Midfield, there's only really the two of them. I guess I've got um, Vitor Roque, Roque, Rocky, Rocky, Roque, Roque, 
I'm going to say Roque because I feel like... Do you guys remember Roque Santa Cruz who played for Blackburn? I think that's how his name is spelled. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, he could be one of these options. So I guess that takes one... That means one less midfield signing. On the wings, Neres and Lozano. Pretty good, except that I think Lozano wants to leave because... Uh, I think he was like upset that they didn't let him leave to go somewhere. I don't know. Left wing, they've got Kvaradona and uh, Pulisic. Pulisic, of course, can play either side, play up front. Bit of um, uh, versatility there. Then up front, um, of course, Osimhen, Raspadori, who again can play on the left. Can mm, I, he, to me, he's not an out-and-out striker, but uh, obviously he's very good. So I'm, I'm sure he could do a job, and, and we can maybe you know change this to more of a deep line forward than it is like a out and out striker I guess um, that, that's how I see it that's what I see us needing let me know what you think should we should we do it should we jump ship to Napoli the flip side of that of course is Brentford our Brentford side that we've been with for three full seasons and a quarter of a season I guess or maybe a bit less than that I don't know something like that um, this is what they're looking like at the minute um, as I said before um, I have made four signings so where there are question marks on this I know who they are you don't quite yet, but you will in the next video, regardless of whether I uh, do end up moving to Napoli or staying at Brentford. Um, this is how they're looking. It is Lafontaine and Naseki are the two uh, goalkeeping options. Centre-backs, I earn a new signing, then Sorensen and Ndika. Then, of course, got uh, Henry and Hickey on the left, Godfrey and Yanel in the middle, uh, Nico Williams and a new signing uh, on the right. Through midfield, Kamada and a new signing, Eklund Camp and Damsgaard, of course, lots of versatility there, lots of people who can play a bit of everywhere. On the right, Elise Hane and Bermo, on the left, Shirky and a new signing, and then Tony Marlon and Balogun are still here, kicking the goals, in theory, anyway, because um, we know that Marlon and Balogun don't have a great history of doing that consistently. Um, that's where we're looking at the minute. Um, we don't have any more money to spend. I think we've maybe got like £6 million in the um, transfer kitty, so... Uh, where we are with the team is where it's going to be for at least this season, pending any, I guess, last minute transfers out and things like that. But that is where this team is right now. The thing, the where I'm conflicted is we've been with them for three years. I, I've been putting, you know, lots of effort into trying to turn them into what I want them to be, getting people that I'm sort of attached to, like Elise, getting attached to Shirky, Eklund Camp, I'm a bit attached to. Godfrey, uh, very much so. Like, some players that I'm really, really fond of, and I just wonder whether it is worth sticking it out. That's where it, I, I want you to come in, basically. Let me know. Let me know what you would do. And This video has gone longer than I expected it to. I wanted it to be a nice, easy, quick one. But let me know what I should do. Do I stay with Brentford over here, or do we head over to Napoli? Yeah, like, what do you think? Let me know. And I'll see you Thursday for the, for the result. Peace.